Makers are pushing a bill to increase transparency in court cases, especially in juvenile court. Andres Fuentes was at Drago's in Metairie, where advocates explained how they hope the bill will hold those in the justice system accountable. Standing side by side, dozens of family members united together, all either having loved ones shot or killed by gun violence in Louisiana. Among them was Sherilyn Price. Police say her son was in the wrong place at the wrong time when a gunfight broke out in the CBD. He was killed and she has been outspoken ever since. You want to drink your coffee in the morning without tears because I haven't been able to do that for 95 days. Price, the other families and crime advocates showed support for a new measure to be introduced this legislative session by State Representative Debbie Vilio. It calls for the creation of a pilot program in three of the most violent parishes, Caddo, East Baton Rouge, and Orleans. The program would provide no-cost, easy online access to criminal court records and cases, giving the public and victims' families a clearer view of the criminal justice system. This is just good policy that benefits everyone. It, it is making public uh, informa information that is, quite frankly, already public. But it is a step, and it proves what we can do when we come together and decide that we want to do it. The program also applies to juvenile court, so long as the accused teen is at least 13 and committed a violent crime or is a repeat offender. Advocates say it would keep judges and other juvenile court officials accountable. What charges are accepted, what charges are refused, what the case is pled to, and what kind of sentence the judge gives. All of that will now be transparent with this legislation when a juvenile is accused of a crime of violence. That's something Cortez Collins has been pushing for ever since two juveniles and an adult were arrested in connection to the murder of his son, Cortarion. I didn't know certain things about my son's case um all i got a call one day from the da's office saying well he's a juvenile so we're just going to plead him down to manslaughter then give me the opportunity to really say how i felt Vilio is confident the measure will pass while families say this is just a step in the right direction to solving the state's gun violence issue this isn't a political issue People are not being attacked on the basis of how they vote, whether they're Democrat or Republican. People are not being attacked on the basis of whether they're Christian or Jew or Catholic. This is not a racial issue. Brown, white, yellow, we're all at risk. We all have some skin in this game. Now, the pilot program will also allow the state attorney general's office to create a crime victim database that would send texts or emails to families so that they can stay involved throughout the entire legal process. Back to you, Lee.